Coming up, a pan tilt zoom camera, a very cool Spark phone. We're going to look at some new cases for the iPhone 5S. And Mike Elgin will review the latest Toshiba satellite laptop. It's time to watch before you buy. Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for Before You Buy is brought to you by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. Before You Buy is brought to you by Nature Box. Order great tasting, healthy snacks delivered right to your door. Forget the vending machine and get in shape with healthy, delicious treats like seaweed rice pops. <laughs> get 50% off your first box. Go to naturebox.com slash twit. That's naturebox.com slash twit. And by SmartThings, the easiest and most affordable way to create a smart home. Protect and control your home from anywhere with no contracts or monthly fees. For 10% off any home security kit, visit smartthings.com slash twit and use the code TWIT10 at checkout. No, I'm kind of off center. I'm tilting over. <laughs> hey, welcome to Before You Buy the Twit Product Review Show, where we get our uh, some of the most amazing, interesting products out there and give them to our talented staff uh, and get them to take a look at them and give us an example or an idea of what it would be like to use this in real life. Everybody knows Chad Johnson, the host of OMG Craft, uh, of uh, the Daily Gizwiz, actually now weekly. Yeah, the weekly Daily the Gizwiz. The weekly Daily Gizwiz. That was a funny joke about four years ago, but I don't know. <laughs> and I just love how we're on episode 1,478 or something like that. I just love saying that That's our that longest number. running show. Yeah. And then, of course, a uh, brand new show, Read It Up, which I saw the first episode of yeah. this past week. We Please on go Wednesdays. subscribe. It was really RU. great. It's a good show to watch if you want to keep up on the memes. Right. Like we'll, the one we'll that cover made, the funny stuff, basically. Yeah, what everybody's going to, you know, it's what you're going to get from your friends next week and from your dad in about a year. Right. You'll see it on Facebook in a week, yeah. and then you'll get it from your grandma in a chain letter next, a year from now. Next year. Yeah. The funniest one is the beard ones, where the guys have big, long beards, and then they tilt their head up and draw a face on their neck. It was good. Trust me. It was good. It was good. <laughs> there you go. Read it up every Wednesday on the Twit Network. But we have given Chad an assignment. Yes. I am I love this uh, product. It came in and I was just eyeballing it ever since it came in. We got one for the Daily Gizwiz. It's a P, what they call a PTZ camera. A right. camera you can aim from your smartphone or your uh, web page. And it was so dang hard. To, how much did we spend on that uh, professional grade PTZ? Well, three games. 3K, 3,000. So this is not for no. professional use. This is a and, security camera. Right. This is a security camera. This is something you're going to put in your home to make sure that you can watch the kids. There it is right there. It looks just like the one we spent 3,000 on, I can tell you. <laughs> it's a little bit smaller. Um, right. In fact, this is a pretty zoomed in um, video. It's about so the just size. To show you, it's, yeah, there's right, your hand. There's my hand. So your this giant is, hand. This is how large it is. It's about the size of a Logitech camera on a base, though. The base is the big thing because right. it's got to aim it. Right. So uh, it has some pretty nice uh, features for users who are going to use it in their house. So first, it does have a an app. So if you if you don't want to put your um, computer, you don't want to put the software on the computer. It has it has software for all of the major. Um, you know, this is on PC. Android, yeah, iOS. this one's on Android. They have an iOS version. They have a PC version of the software. They have a Mac version of the so software. No Linux support. Um, so uh, one of the things is that that all of all of the support for all of it is just a little bit buggy. So there we go. Now I got the video. Well, that's a pretty. Of, it looks like a pretty good image. Uh, it's a really good image. It's HD quality, 720p. Um, and then if I want to uh, switch it, it's as easy as either swiping around on the on the screen. So you're actually moving the camera by. Oh, look at that. Yep. By just scrolling on the screen. Yep, just swiping around. That's not instant, because that's to send a signal to the camera. Right. The camera has to receive it right. and act upon it. And then if you don't want to do that, you can also set some locations. So I've set a few. I set my first location. Oh, that's neat. Uh, up to where the sky desk is. No one's sitting up there. Earlier when I had set it, um, there was a, a person sitting up on top of the sky desk. Do we desk. know the person, or was it a uh, it, was, it was Burke. It was oh, someone okay. like Burke. Some, some strange person in the <laughs> studio. Um, and then I'm set... The reason I asked, we had a bum sleeping in the doorway yesterday, so I thought maybe he might have oh, moved wow. in. Oh, wow. Whoa, man. 
<laughs> and then, we, yeah, gosh. Uh, no, he I wasn't on the sky bum. desk. Yeah. It wasn't a bum. He uh, was a hobo. Yeah, okay, perfect. That's their word. Um, <laughs> Anyway, so this is the, you know, and so I can even, it has a pretty far range of motion, so I can lock on to you as well, and it'll continue to, to go around, and there you are, sitting right there. But that's what this is for. This is a security camera, so you might be looking at your warehouse right. and say, who's that? There's, it looks like a foot down there, and you can go zoom in or... Absolutely. Actually, you can't zoom. I, I called it a pan tilt you zoom. Can, oh, you can, actually. Okay. So, um, on the on a phone, it's a little bit more difficult because it doesn't have a very good detection of whether you're swiping or pinching to zoom. Hello, little camera back there. This um, is kind of cool. Yeah, that kind of neat. So you have to kind of slowly make sure oh, that right. it knows that you're zooming in. Is and it then digital it or in. optical? Zoom? It's all digital. Okay. It's only digital. And then, of course, it thought that I was swiping as well. There's one thing is, is uh, while we're kind of talking about the software, software is fairly buggy. There's a few times where I felt like it wasn't quite up to snuff. On top of that, if you go uh, to look anywhere online for, um, for their software, let me pull up. There we are. Um, this is... Whoa. This is the apps that just they provide. This isn't me searching. This is a Swan HD. The, the That's name crazy. of this is the Swan Eye HD. Do they Pen do different tilt. things? I, I have no idea. I have no idea. Um, in fact, I installed the wrong PC software the first time I downloaded it because there's no in the instructions. There's no good URL to go to, like you know Swan.com slash. Wow you know, the model number or something like that. And also when I went to the product page, there's no download for the for the correct. So I downloaded the wrong one, then I found out that I needed the Pro HD version of the one that I had, uh, completely different features. One of them wouldn't connect to the camera that I had. So their software really needs to be revamped. If anyone at this company is listening to me, one application to control them all. There should not be I can't even count how many applications and, and are here. You gotta get the right one. And you have to get the right one. So that was very frustrating. Um, uh, they, yeah. Anyway, so uh, th now that that's out of the way, you can control this off of uh, your computer, and you get a few more features. So you do get the uh, the everything that we had before. I, ha I can set up my my selections. Yeah, it's kind of in a weird position. Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, so we'll move it to somewhere that's a little bit less weird. Um, you can also set it to always be uh, panning or always build always be tanning. Yeah, always be panning. That's a yeah. that's a pretty good. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. uh, motto to say, but so here we go, and you can kind of see how far the range is. There's a, a, a 350 degree uh, oh, range all the way around, and it has about 100 degrees up and down. Now, is this Wi Fi or do we have to have Ethernet? You can do Wi Fi okay. and you can do Ethernet. We're also, connected via Ethernet right now, so correct. That, and I mention that because that will affect latency, the lag, the right. So right. Um, it'll also do internal uh, LAN networks from the software or WAN networks from anywhere on the internet. Okay. Um, here, let me. So you could control this over the internet. I can. I can. That would be important because you're probably not on premises. Right. You put not this all the in time. a guest house. Absolutely. And, uh, you, know, you don't want. And to that see. setup was very simple. It all I had easy. to do was create an account, create a user, and then pair the device with two numbers on the base of the device to my account, and now I have access to it. I didn't have to port forward. I didn't have to do any of that. Very easy setup. I see. It also has jacks for audio it does it has and audio an alarm in and out. out and yes an alarm system if that's what you want on the back on top of that the uh so if you're say far away from your computer and you see someone rummaging through your stuff you have the option uh to hit the little microphone and say hey stop doing that can you hear it from there here let me put it up can i pick it up yeah pick it up go let ahead and put pick it, it next to my microphone and, and also let let's, me uh, let's try that again chad let me hit it i tell you what that is not going to scare me as a burglar <laughs> is, <laughs> is, is, <laughs> um, let me sign in from the app because i'm not sure that that i've set up the uh the correct microphone on this computer i've been plugging and unplugging i'm stealing your stuff that's what i'm doing yeah. here hey how's it going oh i just hit, it's gonna start moving here on you sorry about that always be panning Hey, can you hear me, Leo? That is not. Hey, hey, I need you to get away from my stuff, if you could. That's uh, that's my uh, cardboard boxes in my garage, <laughs> okay. if you could. Uh, those are kind of collectibles. No, okay, I'm gonna tell you where this is useful. Uh huh. You don't say that. Okay. You go. Uh, yeah, this is Officer Six Three Four. We've got a fifty fee three ninety four going on here yeah. down in the yeah. basement. Or uh, just. I'm I need, calling the police. Uh, backup, I am uh, calling the police currently. I think Get the guy's armed, house. so I'm just going to shoot him now. If that's okay, right. requesting uh, permission. Over. 
That's what you pipe into it, really. Now we're, now, oh, they're coming for you. That is not a feature. It will not start siren sounds. That's, well, how did you do that? That's, that's Brian oh. behind us. You need a TriCaster then. Absolutely. Okay. Um, <laughs> the accessory not included. So you can it has also lights though. That's good. So those lights are infrared lights. All right. So it does so really a, good night vision. Uh, night vision. Hey, let's turn out the lights and see what we can get. Okay. We could do this whole show in the dark. And it'll it will automatically. Wow. That's that's not it. That's oh. not it. It hasn't flipped yet. So it's automatic. Sometimes it'll just. It's too bright. Decide to flip. Sometimes Look. it won't. There it goes. Oh. Now now it's in night vision mode. <laughs> Let me put it in my mouth. Not the creepiest <laughs> can you just, thing can you just in the world. Tell me how my tonsils look. Uh, black and white. I can't <laughs> quite tell. Okay, well, it was. Pi I can verify that it's pitch black at yeah. night. Yeah. Oh my, yeah. In Absolutely. My mouth. Um, That's good. Isn't that crazy? Um, wow. So that does that very well. Uh, here, I'm actually going to show you a little bit of footage that I took before. I so am so scared. <laughs> a little bit of Blair Witch going on. Um, you can record uh, video, which it'll record it locally uh, onto whatever device you're viewing it on, or you can take a photo. This does have an SD card slot in it, so wow. it'll continuously record, and if there's ever a motion, it will capture that 13 seconds. It'll You've capture got, three like, seconds those before. Eyes that glow in the dark. You know, Did it's you know funny, I, no, I, no matter how many times I've, <laughs> I've done this, uh, my eyes totally just glow in the dark That's for some so strange reason. You are part lynx. So I have uh, I have some photos of uh, this was I was cleaning up my room. So please bear with uh, uh, the. You uh, take kitty cat pictures. And yeah, stuff? I took I took a few photos of the cats. Uh -huh. um, and so there's there's one of my cats licking are you herself. Moving? Uh, she was. What do you mean? No. <laughs> Oh yeah, no, no. I was cleaning up my house. That's what I just said. Are I you moving? Just... No. Oh, you, this is like spring cleaning. I'm, I was just changing the sheets oh, on, okay, on okay. my bed. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, so there's me hanging out with the cat, and sh you can see her eyes are glowing. Yeah. And this look is at, that. at night. Um, and then this is Waffles hanging out. Um, right. Right. So, uh, and I was just testing out some of the video stuff. Um, That's creepy. Let me also grab, now, there are a few, so I took some video files of the brick house earlier. All right. Um, and so you can see just. The quality's really good. This is, yeah, it is 720. I mean, given what, I, what, what it is. I, I right. Feel, yeah, look um, Wow. Uh, so this is kind of the, now, and you can see just right there, it went into, into dark. It went into a night mode. Okay, it does the same, it did the same thing earlier. So right, I was wondering. Okay. Right, see, so it just switched into night mode for some reason. So that's, that's all automatic. So it goes black and white, but you know, that's fine right. because you're looking for back. an intruder most of the time, right? right? exactly. You're or a broken water pipe or you know, right, something. Right, something like that. Um, so, and then, uh, so that's a, that's about it, uh, is that it'll do pan, tilt, zoom. Oh, one thing, uh, if you are recording the zoom, um, instead of it keeping it all the same resolution, yeah. what it does is it, it zooms in and then it, it crops the image. And it, the video file, it also crops the video file, but in the same stream. So it doesn't create a new video file. So I have a recording of, of myself trying to use the zoom in feature on one of my cats. And I can start to play the start of this, yeah. but then once uh, it's gonna switch into uh, zooming in on her face here, yeah. and it's just gonna completely crash the application because it can't <laughs> handle it. Because it the keeps playback, the playback, yeah. And right. this is this actually kernel panic my computer killed, earlier. Killed VLC. Wow. Uh, yeah. Um, so. So that's an issue, is that they need to figure out their... Uh, Does it work in the app, if you're looking in the app? Um, it will work live in the app. Yeah. I couldn't get any recording record to play it. back. Okay. Um, so that was a big issue. Sounds like uh, the hardware's fine, the software's buggy. Absolutely. What's the price? Okay, the price is $180. That's a great price. It's a pretty good price. Remember we started this a couple of weeks ago? It was $3,000. <laughs> when we started the review. When we started this ago. review. It was three thousand dollars for the right. Pro Pan Tilt Zoom. That is a really good price, one hundred eighty bucks. Right. right. So for the pros, it's very easy to set up. It has black and white, you know, night features, um, and it has the continuous recording, so that uh, it'll just continuously record. And then if there's a motion, uh, it will capture the first three seconds and then continue recording for about ten seconds afterwards. Um, and, and also, it'll send you those alerts via message on the app right. or email yeah. or whatever. I have to say, I mean, for the price, it's pretty flexible. I love it that it has Wi-Fi. That's a big deal. Right, right. Um, 
Now on the cons, uh, way too many apps. It was very confusing to find the right app. And uh, the apps that it did give me were a little bit buggy. Uh, there's definitely a slow response time. I feel like they could make that faster. Why can't, why can't you make your response time faster? And uh, it kept switching into night mode when it shouldn't, is the cons. All right. So buy, try, don't buy for the Swan Pan Tilt Zoom security camera. This is the A. ADS 445 version. I'm gonna give this a buy. I actually did like it, and and I I could definitely consider buying this for yeah. my apartment. Oh, that's another thing is once you've tied it to your account, you can do a whole bunch of these. I could buy three of them, put them around my yeah. apartment, and easily have them all tied together. Um, so, thank you, Chad. It is a buy for the Swan Eye HD Pan and Tilt Wi-Fi. You also get these cool stickers camera. that you can put on your windows. You know? You know this what? might ca keep the intruders away That's more better effect, than yeah. the cameras. That's what somebody told me, a security expert told me once. Don't get the service, just get the stickers. Just buy the stickers. Yeah. They can't tell if you have the service. Just buy oh. you, you know. Uh, we have uh, a guy here in the Brickhouse studio. No. Yes, we do. What? Who spends a lot of time with burner phones. Don't know why. <laughs> but when we got this very cool S505 Spark, we thought, Brian Burnett's the guy to take a look. This is Brian Burnett for Before You Buy, and today I'm introducing the very cool, with a K, S505. And when you spell cool with a K, you know you're getting some serious fun. A little background for those of you new to Very Cool, like myself, before I did this review, is that Very Cool is a company that provides unlocked hardware at pretty competitive prices, and it's headquartered in San Diego, California. At a glance, the S505 looks and feels very similar to a Samsung S3 if you've ever uh, played with one of those. And the specs are very near the same and it shares the same slippery plastic feel. Despite the very scary background, the 1280x720 screen looks good and sharp but doesn't get very bright. Flipping from the home screen to the apps feels pretty snappy, but when loading a game or a more intensive app, the S505 can feel a bit sluggish, which is probably due to the one gigabyte of RAM that it has. Under the hood of the very cool is a 1.3 quad core CPU running Android 4.2, which is pretty much completely stock. The back is removable, giving you access to the 2000 milliamp battery, which is good for around six hours. Also, it has dual SIM slots along with a micro SD expansion slot. There is a 12 megapixel rear camera and a 2 megapixel front, and even though it is a 12 megapixel rear, it, a lot of the shots ended up looking blown out and low light looked very noisy. For the pros and the cons of the very cool S505, uh, the first pro is price. Coming in at $200, the hardware and build quality is pretty nice for that at that price point. It does have dual SIMs, so that's another pro there if you're looking for a GSM phone. And it's fairly slim. It's not bulky and feels good in the hand. The cons. Uh, it can be a bit sluggish when opening a more intensive app, and the camera is mediocre. And along with the in two gigabytes of internal memory, you're definitely going to want to make use of the uh, expandable micro SD. So is the very cool a buy, try, or don't buy? Well, I'm going to have to give it a try. Despite the name of very cool, the S505 is very mediocre at $200, but you get what you pay for. The performance isn't as high as you'd expect from the hardware specs. And there are phones in this segment for a bit more, like the $219 Motor G with LTE, but only has 8 gigabytes of non-expandable storage. So in the end, if you don't want to spend a lot of money and you're looking for an unlocked GSM phone with expandable memory, the S505 has solid build quality and a screen making it a decent value. This has been Brian Burnett from Before You Buy. See you next time. Brian Burnett, our technical director and the very cool S505 Spark I'm actually a try. I'm kind of surprised. Hmm. I didn't expect anything quite that good. You seem like you might be a little peckish, Chad. Yeah. My blood sugar is getting is a little it, low. Is it na Nature Box time? What? Wait. It's Nature Box time. I was actually literally just eating. I little... saw you, and I thought, you know what? I'm going to give you some Nature Box. Okay. I'm feeling sorry for you. Hey, I know that you're exactly. a classy guy. Lemon tea biscuits. That sounds what? pretty good. Yeah. Oh, I want to actually have yeah. those. I haven't seen those yet. They're lemon mini cookies. Nutritionist approved, as is everything at Nature Look at that. Look at that. It's a great you way to tease me. your employees. Come on. <laughs> I want lemon tea biscuits. Got teenagers in the house. Come on. <laughs> oh, 
he got them. You know what's great about these? Once you open them, they're resealable. They've got a Ziploc yeah. top. Uh, they stay fresh. Oh, have you have you had the sriracha roasted uh, cashews? Oh, sriracha roasted. Are they really spicy? No, it's a perfect amount of sriracha. Well, that's it, what you say. <laughs> no, it's really good. Never any HFCs, high fructose corn syrup. Never any uh, GMOs. Uh, no artificial flavors, colors. This is healthy stuff. You'll be glad to give your family. Uh, and you get it delivered every month. You can just take a random box because there's over a hundred different snacks. Or you can specify. You could say, hey, I want gluten conscious or uh, a vegan, uh, spicy only or sweet or savory. You get to choose, discover if you, if you prefer and get snack happy. And by the way, for every box they deliver, they donate a meal through Feeding America. So you're helping Feed America. At the same time, they've delivered over a million meals, or they're, they're trying to, and that's a great goal. Let's help them out. We're going to do it by giving you half off your first box when you go to naturebox.com slash twit and use the offer code T-W-I-T. Naturebox.com slash twit. Use your offer code twit for half off your first box. But I got to warn you, they're addictive. They're really good. Discover, delight, nourish, and enjoy. Is that lemon cookie it's everything good. you hoped it would it's be? It's really good. I can totally imagine munching on these. Coconut um, cashews? Perfect. That. They're this, hearty. This, to me, is heaven. A the coconut cashews? Coconut cashew, that's heaven. These are all new. We got new flavors. Baked oh, sweet potato fries. Flies? Fries. <laughs> no, sea know. salt, sun crunch, sunflower, and sesame seeded crackers. What? Get out of here. These are my too. nature. It's my nature too. box. <laughs> Naturebox.com slash twit. You can keep the lemon cookies. Okay, I'll keep them. I opened them. Uh, I think it's time for us to take a look now at something for your iPhone 5S. Sarah Lane hosts i5 for the iPhone. We thought you'd be a perfect person to take a look at uh, two, na two new cases from Life Charge and Spark Beats. Sarah? Hello everybody, Sarah Lane here. I am the official iPhone case reviewer for Before You Buy. Have you ever noticed that? They always come to me. But that's cool because I have an iPhone and I like cases. All right, so let's start off with this. Looks like a, you know, gold, plasticky, boring case. Not much to look at. Although, you know, I kind of like the gold because I do actually have a gold back on my white iPhone. I go ahead and let's put our phone inside it and see what's cool about it. All right, now this puppy here... If I tell you that it's $79.99, you might say, Sarah, you're crazy. Why would anybody why would anybody pay that? Well, because it has a 2300 milliamp battery that gives you up to eight hours of added talk time or 10 extra hours of internet use on Wi-Fi or 40 hours of music or 10 hours of video playback time. You've got these nice little... Uh, vents here so that your 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 speakers uh, will work. It also has four LEDs on the back that will show you battery capacity. Anybody who's familiar with you know maybe a Mophie charger or whatever knows how that works. You can see it's it's full at this point. Now it weighs 83 grams, and I have to say to you right now, it doesn't feel heavy at all, and that's one of the issues that I have with battery packs with stuff that you that you that you, you wrap around your phone because. Well, you know, everybody likes more battery, but you don't really want it to, like, be this huge weight in your bag or your pocket. So this is more battery life than the biggest Mophie case. And Mophie is, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a respected brand and everything, but Life Charge battery case for 80 bucks does better than the name brand. You know where I'm going with this. It's not even as expensive either. So, you know, stylish. Comes in white, black, and gold. Of course, we're looking at the gold, but... If you don't have a gold phone, you don't have to choose this one. And then, of course, it has a cutout so that you can charge and sync your iPhone without having to take the case off. You put your uh, headphones in there, and, and there's the charger as well. Uh, it comes with a headphone extension cord, too. And, of course, you can, you can access all of your controls um, easily enough. Easy to take on, take off. So pros and cons, this is pretty easy. Uh, large capacity. It's not that expensive, 80 bucks again for really, really solid extra battery life, and it's not heavy. The cons, well, if you're really into having an iPhone without a case, this is definitely going to bulk it up. It makes it longer, and it makes it fatter. That's just the way that it goes. And then it charges with micro USB instead of a lightning cable. And for some of you guys, that might be a non-starter. For me, though, that's a buy. All right, let's move on to our second iPhone case. This one is just straight up weird, all right? So let me just show you. First of all, before I even put my iPhone on the inside, it looks like a fairly boring case that has some sort of a pattern on the back, right? 
actually feels pretty flimsy. Plastic, there's like a little little piece on the inside that's sort of flapping at me here. All right, well, let's put the phone on the inside here. And you go ahead and get it to a point where it's feeling comfortable. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and open up an app that goes along with this case. This case is called the Spark Beats case for $49.95, $50 case. Companion app is free. What does it do? Well, I will show you. Uh, you know how you can turn on your flashlight on your phone? It's really, really bright. And sometimes people can be like really obnoxious and set their flashlight when their phone rings. You can turn on the flashlight and trust me when I say that the light is not as obnoxious as it normally would be because I have this case on and now it's also lighting up the back of the phone in some way that's supposed to be artsy and cool, right? So, all right, let's say that I go ahead and set the flash free. Let's see if we can tell the difference. By the way, this doesn't actually, it's hard to do. Well, come on now. Did this right before the show. Ugh. Okay, well, that's a con right there. It's got a little lever that doesn't really move very easily. What it's what it's doing right now basically is it's it's got a little kind of like a it's like a little filter on this flashlight. This flashlight would be much more annoying. And by the way, I'm sorry to anybody who's prone to epilepsy because it's probably really hard to watch this. Um, so you can soften the flash. And I guess what's cool about it is if you're kind of into like this artsiness, yeah, you can kind of I don't know see the light on the sides of the you know if you're if you're into psychedelics or I don't know it's 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 like there are some kind of interesting things about it it is using the built-in flashlight and if you actually look at this app the spark beats case app it's designed to not just do this one thing it's supposed to be able to like follow music you can go ahead and yeah you can you can toggle on and off whether you're playing music uh, motion flash you can you can change your brightness and your frequency, turn it down so it's a little, there's a little bit less going on here. Let's see if that looks any better. Yeah, so you gotta, yeah, you maybe, maybe that's something that's a little bit more your speed. Okay, so this is a Kickstarter. It's, it's now available to everybody. I can certainly give it pro, uh, a, a pro support for being unique. I've never seen anything like this. Um, it's cool, right? It certainly doesn't weigh anything. I mean, even if you never used this, it's a pretty nice sleek case, save for, you know, a little bit design on the back of it. But I really just find no point. Uh, you know, maybe I'm not much of a raver, but I just don't, I don't know. I, I don't see a use for it. And in fact, if you're the guy at the bar that's got this on trying to be cool, nobody's going to talk to you. So that's the con. Uh, the app needs a little bit of work. Some, some, some of the toggles seem to work okay. Some, some don't. But in general, for $50, I can think of a lot of other things that I would rather buy. So I'm going to go ahead and say, don't buy the Spark Beats case. Sorry, Spark Beats, but, uh, you know, you're just partying a little too hard for me. You're a little too punk rock for all of us here uh, before you buy. Well, those are two cases we got to buy and a don't buy. Everything feels perfectly in balance as far as I'm concerned. Hope you enjoyed my review and thanks for watching before you buy. That's Sarah Lane, host of i5 for the uh, i phone, iPad today, tech news tonight, Reddit up. What doesn't she host here at the Twit Brickhouse? Uh, and then once again, she really liked the uh, life charge. I think uh, it's nice to take a case and have it do something extra. Before we see Mike Elgin's review of this new Toshiba satellite featuring an AMD uh, Radeon GPU. Ooh, yes. Sounds like a gaming, a gamer's delight. Not really. No. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it is a delight. This is a Kickstarter project that took off, and it's always a happy story when Somebody goes on Kickstarter with an idea whose time has come, and they get the funding, and they make a product, and now you can buy it. It's from Smart Things. Maybe you saw the project. The idea is home automation is tough because there's so many different competing standards. Nothing talks to anything else. Couldn't we make it easier? And the idea of Smart Things is it all starts with the hub, the Smart Things hub, which talks to pretty much everything. GE, Schlage, Honeywell, Eon, the Nest thermostats, the Philips Hue lights, the Wemos from Belkin, even your Sonos music player. So the hub connects to your, uh, your internet, you power it up, and now you can do all sorts of cool things. SmartThings wants to sell you a kit that gets you started. Uh, they also have an API so developers can create new ways to use the product. And then they publish those integrations 
and feature them in the incredible Smart Things app. You're seeing it right there. So that all the customers can use them with thousands of developers adding new stuff all the time. It means your smart home is getting smarter all the time. It just begins right here. You plug the smart things up into your router, add the sensors and outlets. It's free. It's easy to use. In fact, let me show you. So the, the best way to do this is start with a home security kit. They call it home security, but it could be more than that. Uh, that includes the basic kit. 329 includes the smart things hub. The smart things motion sensor, which is, you know, as you might expect, something that sees motion in the room. Let me show you this, though. Like all the smart things devices, they're very easy to attach to the network. You just pull this tab out that says remove, remove to pair, and it's, it's on the network, and it's working. So this uh, senses motion. This is the present sensor. It's a little keychain tag you could put on a dog's collar on your keychain, <laughs> attach it to your remote control if you use it, lose it a lot. Uh, and this one is kind of the smartest. This is their Smart Sense Multi. It's got all sorts of sensors, including temperature, motion, uh, not motion, uh, movement, because it's got, you know, the two-part thing where like, if somebody opens a window or a door, it also has accelerometers. So you can use this to know the temperature in a room and then talk to your nest and turn it up. I mean, things like that. Uh, it'll tell you when things open or close, when valuable items move. It can alert you if you've left the garage door open. So you get the basic uh, smart home security kit includes one of the hubs, the motion sensor, the presence sensor, and three of these multi-sensors that you can do so many things for uh, with. And then for 479, get the smarter kit, which adds an additional motion sensor. Everything in the basic kit plus additional motion sensor, smart power outlet, and a siren strobe alarm. And then the smartest home security kit includes all of the above plus a presence, another presence sensor, a power outlet, and an outdoor light plug-in control power outlet. You kind of start seeing... You know where you can go with this and once you get the kit you can then add stuff like crazy all your other stuff your sonos and your wemo it's fun to think of the kinds of recipes you could make with this thing you know i walk in the door the sonos starts playing uh cocktail music hail to the chief hail to the chief would be good ruffles and flourishes right. the lights turn red white and blue uh, my television set goes on, turns right to Fox News. I want to put a motion sensor on the cookie jar and then have the <laughs> siren go off <laughs> whoop, whoop, when somebody whoop. attacks the sugar. <laughs> you should me. you should do that for Amira's cherry pie is what you should do. <laughs> no, That's, I'm, I'm sneaking in to steal that. Yeah. Whew. Well, I love the way they think about this because they're thinking about it as a Extensible. integrated, flexible solution. Yeah. These one-off things that you want mm -hmm. to get the whole the whole point of home automation, the future of home automation, is integrated solutions Absolutely. like this that are flexible. A smart house that gets smarter all the time. That's the idea. Smart things. Go to smartthings.com/twit. You will save ten percent off uh, any of those home security kits when you use the offer code twit ten. And we thank Smart Things for finally solving this home automation problem in such an elegant way. Now, my friends, Mike Elgin is here. He is our uh, news director at Twit, uh, the host of Tech News uh, Today. Yes. And he, uh, you know, you use you know, a Mac laptop. laptop i got to tell I you. I do, I do, but I used Windows for, I don't know, a decade and a half or more. You edited Windows Magazine. Windows Magazine, that's true. That's true. So you, um, you ought to you know a little bit about it. That's right. And this, of course, uh, th this would be a competitor to things like the uh, MacBook Pro with Retina because it's a, a super great screen. So this is what this is, the Toshiba Satellite P50T. Now, the way to look at this laptop is it's more or less a regular Windows laptop, mm -hmm. uh, but it has 4K. And in fact, this is the only laptop Ooh. ever shipped, or at least it was the first one, to ship with a Technicolor certification for 4K. So this is a 4K screen. So what I want to do uh, first... So it's twice the resolution of my HD screen? Four times the resolution. Four to, for tw twice wide and That's twice exactly, top to bottom. Exactly. <gasps> and wow. then, so here's the here's sort of the canned uh, video that comes with it. Uh, the the music's pretty boring, but we'll go ahead and play it anyway. See, computer makes sense for 4K because while there may not be a lot of uh, 4K movies available, in fact, there really aren't any. Unless you can get at one of those hard drive things, there's a lot of computer content that's 4K. That's right, uh, and but uh, we'll get to the caveats in, in just a sec. But let's just go over the specs briefly on yeah, this. Boy, that it's a 15.6 inch Ultra HD TrueByte screen. It's mm -hmm. an IPS, so it's got pretty good, pretty wide viewing angle. Yeah, I can see it from here. I'm off to the side. Yeah. The star of the show is the native resolution of 3840 by 2160. Wow, it's a pretty. And you can see the reflective screen. I want to That's look at the this. downsides. Well, all of them are like that. Yeah. But I just want to, you know, you at home are only seeing it at best 720p. So this is, re this is looks like the 4K monitors I used to see at CES. This is yep. gorgeous. Yep. 
Uh, it's got, you know, it's got pretty reasonable specs. It's got a quad-core i7 CPU, up to 16 gigs of RAM. Uh, it's got an AMD Radeon R9 M265X GPU with 2 gigs of video uh, RAM, which is important to push all this uh, 4K video. Um, and as a laptop, there are certain things about it I don't really care for. And you notice that the, the, the right edge of the touch screen is in the middle. So you're off a to the A lot of left. them are starting to do this. Yeah. Now, I'm a lefty, which really makes throws me off when yeah. they do that. I want this in the middle. But it is a full-size keyboard with a numeric keypad as well. That's so cool. Big, yeah, yeah, so it's a big... So really, the trackpad's in the middle of the alphabetic keyboard. It's, it's pretty much of. in the middle, yes. Yeah. So you're kind of... The screen is here, and you're over to the left. But I hate the little it. space bar. Always throws me. Yeah, it's a weird, a little bit of a strange. Key. Yeah, and I can, you know, it's a, the a arrow matter of personal preference to a certain extent. Is... It has to be said that the keyboard is pretty good. It's okay. pretty nice mm -hmm. for a Windows uh, laptop. Um, now let's get to the uh, let's get to the some of the some of the 4K goodies here. Make this go away. Uh, went to full screen. And thank you for your time. So is, is it touch? It is touch. It is a touch. Here, here you go. Touch screen. There you go. Oh. Ten point touch. See, I think you and I are both agree. Eight one needs touch. When it does. It does. Touch? And I'm a yeah. big fan of touch. I don't believe in the gorilla arm phenomenon. I think it's it's okay for lots of uses. And you know, the truth is that after using an iPad, I'm touching my screen anyway. It's nice when something yeah. happens. So you don't use it all. I find I don't use it all the time. I use the keyboard and mouse a lot. But every once in a while, you want to bring and swipe in the charms or swipe down the task. So 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 now this comes with wallpaper that is 4K wallpaper, which is a very high def. So this has a an app called Chromatune that comes with Chromatune. So this is the right here. I'm I've got it on Technicolor. This is Technicolor. So they're changing the color space too. Exactly. And so if you're a photographer, a professional photographer, you're doing 4K video, especially this is important because you have perfect co color fidelity. If you're just a high end user, you want to click this over to Rect 709 uh, is my favorite. Uh, you can go a uh, setting called full and then cool uh -huh. and warm. I don't know why people would want cool and warm. No, but, that's terrible. But uh, Technicolor is accurate and Rect 709 looks best in my opinion. But you have this I very agree. easy method to switch between mm. them uh, and of course it's certified technicolor again that's that's a really that's really huge for people who really need you know professionals need color fidelity has a, uh, hdmi has four count them four 3.0 usb 3.0 ports one for is, your tablet for sure if you yeah. this is this is for an artist boy this is great that's right uh now oddly enough here are the caveats that i have about this um you'd think well okay this is a super high-end this is like the laptop that has the greatest video you can imagine. Mm -hmm. It's not really the case. When you're doing 4K stuff, it is great. When you're doing true color fidelity photography and video, it's great. For everything else, it is not that great. It's pretty mediocre. The, the, there's inconsistency in the font rendering. So some of the fonts don't look crystal clear as they do on the MacBook Pro with Retina, for example. All the fonts on the MacBook Pro with Retina look fantastic. And, uh, you know, so let me let me just give you an example if I can find it here. Uh, I wonder I if this might be a Windows problem as much as it is the hardware it problem. It could be. It could be. Uh, very, uh, you know, it depends on the site. A lot of the Google sites don't look all that high res uh, for... I think that's, you know, Chrome for yeah. one thing. Right. Yeah. We had that problem when the Retina MacBooks first came out is Google Chrome looked terrible. Yeah. Apple solved this somewhat by having a high DPI uh, solution, which means you'd run it at 1080p unless you had an image that was higher quality, and then it would jump to that. Yeah. I, uh, I don't know if Windows has such a great, uh, easy uh, way to do that on Windows. Yeah. Um, I run my Windows at uh, 19, or my Mac at uh, 1080p on a 4K display. Yeah. Now, one of the things, you mentioned games earlier. This yeah. is one of the surprises. This is Should not good. good for high-resolution games. You have to dial down the resolution in order yeah. to get reasonable performance on the surprised. game. So you can't yeah. play games at 4K. What's the GPU? It's a it's a Radeon. It's it's a Radeon. Yes, it's a Radeon GPU. It has two gigs of video RAM. It's a Radeon R9 M two sixty five X. Okay. Uh, the the GPU is fine. The problem is that the games haven't been written for four K. Right. And again, four K content is a problem. You can find some four K content on YouTube, but really, it's in the minority. Uh, Netflix has some four K content, but really, if your expectation is that you're going to get this laptop and you're going to be watching four K content all the time, you're not. Well, and the other thing is you take a hit with 4K because it's going to hit the CPU. It's a lot of work to push those pixels. Yes, it is. And it's going to kill the battery life. Well, one of the weird things about this, it's got a fan on, this, on the right side. So if you're using a mouse, an external you mouse, feel it. in, it's like, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's like a, a hot dryer <laughs> pointed at your hand. Well, it's good for sweaty palms. It's Think great it when it's way. cold. <laughs> It'll keep your hand warm. At least one is of it them. a loud fan, too? It's You can hear it. Yeah. 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 When it gets going, it's not so bad right now. But once you start uh, pushing 4K around, it gets kind of loud. Uh, and... Um, you know, again, it's it's 
so let me just get to the recommendation because this is this is where the rubber meets the road. If you're a professional and you have some use for 4K, this is a great product because it's a laptop. It's Technicolor certified. It's relatively inexpensive, seventeen ninety nine. Oh, well, that's not bad. Yeah, if you look at what the Mac Pro is, for example, that's another 4K option for professionals, not not a portable. That is really, you know, this is a it's twenty five hundred bucks. Computer. Yeah, exactly. same same specs. Exactly. Yeah. Well, without the monitor. Right. Right. So, uh, so so this is um, oh this the Mac Pro. Yeah, that's Mac three thousand. Right, right. But a, but a Mac Pro with Retina display fifteen inches is about twenty five hundred bucks. So eight hundred bucks yeah. more. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Um, but this so it's good for that, and and for certain types of photographer professionals, professional photographers, I would say. I would recommend it. Something but if you are a, a regular user who just wants a yeah. great screen, this is not the product for you. Uh, it's it, You're not going to find the content. You're not going to be able to play games and do all the things you think you're going to be able to do in 4K. You're going to be using a regular laptop that has a loud hot fan. And so uh, I don't recommend it for ordinary users, but for professionals, I do recommend it. So this would be a buy for professionals. Don't buy for uh, even, even advanced or enthusiast users. And you know who you are. And... It's a good cautionary tale. Don't buy 4K because not that much is 4K. That's right. And it really, there are penalties for uh, running such a high resolution And we want display. people to make 4K. So if you're making 4K, yeah. get this laptop so you can see the 4K you've made. <laughs> right. But, right. But if you just want to consume 4K, uh, forget it. It's not worth it. Mike Everybody Elgin, he's the news director at uh, the Twit Brick House. He's also the host of Tech News Today, Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. Pacific. 1 p.m. Eastern, 1700 UTC, right here, your daily dose of tech news. Uh, a buy if you're a pro, but not anybody else on right. uh, this new Toshiba satellite. And you have the number. It's the P50 laptop. P50T, that's right. Yeah. Thank you, Mike. Thank you. Thank you to all our reviewers, Brian, Burnett, Chad, Johnson, Sarah Lane. I'm Leo Laporte. We do Before You Buy right after Security Now every Tuesday, usually around 3 p.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. Eastern Time, 2200 UTC, if you could be here, we'd love that. But if not, don't worry. On-demand audio and video, always available after the fact. Twit.tv slash BYB. We put it on YouTube as we do all of our shows. But before you buy, we do something a little bit different. Not only do we put the whole show uh, at YouTube.com slash before you buy, we put individual reviews. So if you, you know, are thinking about this laptop or you know somebody who is, you can just send them that particular review. You'll find all the reviews at YouTube.com. Slash before you buy. Email us byb at twit.tv if you've got something you'd like us to review. I'm Leo Laporte. Thanks for joining us. And remember, you gotta watch before you buy. See you next time.